Hi guitar fans, how are you? Hey, shoot a quick video here to show you a simple beginner finger picking pattern. And um, I'm gonna play it for you real quick and then I'll kind of break it down. Okay, just like that. Now, uh, some concept for you, uh, fingering wise. Uh, your thumb is always assigned to your bass notes, so if you're playing a G chord, that's going to be your, you know, uh, G note, probably third fret, first, uh, sixth string. Uh, and then after that, your uh, point of finger, middle finger, and index are all going to be assigned to strings following. So, um, let me point this down and we'll kind of get started. We're going to start on a G chord here and uh, I'm going to play our G chord just like this and here's your fingering. Thumb, sixth string, then you're going to go D, G, uh, D here, G for your middle, and B. Okay, and you're plucking with uh, just the, I've, I've got kind of some nail here, but if, if you don't have a nail, uh, consider growing it out a little bit to get great tone. If you don't want to, you just use the flush on the top of your finger. Just like that. You want your thumb to come across and down. You don't want it necessarily like that, but you do want these hands to be fairly vertical to the strings. on your D, your G, and your B. Now, after you're done kind of rolling up like that, uh, you're going to use a transition to get you back to starting the cycle over again. That way it's a repeating cycle that doesn't stop. And in order to do that, you're going to come back you're going to pluck your G string again, and then you're going to pluck your D string again, and that's going to get you in position to start the process all over. So now you're going to transition, G string, D string, and you can start all over. So that sounds like this. Now, if we were to move that to a C chord, now our bass is going to be, now all four strings are right next to each other. You're doing your A string on the third fret, and then you got your D, G, and B, and that sounds like this. Okay, now let's move it to a D. Now our bass moves to the D string. So now you're D, G, B, and E. Okay. Okay, so now the secret is being able to switch between chords and it really just comes back to after you do your transition of going from your D or your G string to your B to excuse me from D to G G to D I apologize my word uh, then you just instantly go to your next chord so let's do it like this now next next. Back to C. Back to G. Okay, now I'd suggest practicing that with a metronome. Uh, 
So I use this, um, let me pull the camera up here for just a second. I use this metronome uh, app on my phone that's uh, really good. Um, I've mentioned this before, but it's this one that, right there on the end. Uh, and this has some, some capabilities to increase the tempo if you buy the pro version, increase as you go along. Um, otherwise, you can just set your tempo. But if I were to do this, I, I'm at 133 right now. Uh, we could probably slow that down just a little bit. So let's go to uh, just 100. I would set it on eighth notes so that you're getting real consistent. Um, if you set it at quarters, it's too easy to begin to vary your uh, timing in between clicks. So this, the clicks are close enough together to where it really keeps you on tempo. And I would do it like this. Okay, something like that. Now, um, you know, if you're able to go to the the pro version and you know allow it to speed up and stuff, like you know, that's uh, that's super cool. But even just having just a basic metronome to practice with, practice your timing with, keeping your finger picking consistent is absolutely uh, imperative to sounding good, being. I think a musician that doesn't practice a metronome is uh, like a Christian who doesn't read their Bible, you know. Uh, it, just, it just, you know, the lifestyle doesn't work. So, um, but that's a basic finger picking pattern. And uh, feel free to comment below and share your thoughts. And I hope that that helps you. All right.